The vote at the UNHRC is on the 22nd of March, that's three days from now in India. It's become a huge talking point with regional parties like the DMK threatening to pull out of the government unless they ask for the inclusion of the word genocide in the draft resolution and an international probe into the war crimes. As the centre tries to walk the tightrope of diplomatic relations with Sri Lanka while trying to hold on to power, we ask Sri Lanka under UN scanner, should India interfere? Joining us on a video call, we've got Siri Tunga, who's the General Secretary of the United Socialist Party. He joins us from Colombo and he's also a former presidential candidate. Thank you, sir, for joining us uh, on NDTV. We've also got with us Frances Harrison, who's a journalist, joining us from London. She's the author of Still Counting the Death. And in the studio, we've got with us Professor Premanathan. He's a postmodern writer, Prem, from uh, on Tamil issues. Um, I just want to start uh, with you first, uh, Mr. Siri Tunga. Um, you know, there is such a huge buzz in the country now with this, uh, uh, with this unit, HRC vote on the 22nd of March. What's it like in Sri Lanka? What's the talking point? Is there even a talking point at all? Yeah, this is a very important thing at the moment in Sri Lanka. Uh, you see, uh, even the last year, the March uh, United Nations Human Rights Commission passed a resolution uh, against uh, the Sri Lankan regime which uh, Indian government supported at that time. Uh, now the situation is uh, the more uh, the crucial uh, because Sri Lankan government has not taken any serious steps to implement the LLRC recommendations even though he has gone since the resolution passed in the, uh, the United Nations, Sri Lankan government has not uh, taken any serious steps. So because of that, now the situation is uh, much more worse and at the same time the Sri Lankan government still uh, coming through the same old argument saying that they need some more time to implement the LLRC recommendations. Uh, uh, so, uh, all right, I just want to bring uh, Professor Premanathan, sir, uh, you know, uh, Sri Thunga there talking about the fact that the government has not really managed to keep its promises that it made in the run-up to getting elected. But in India, you know, is this just political posturing by uh, the regional party and you know trying to sort of push, put pressure at the center or do you think this is significant and it goes beyond vote bank politics in that sense that it's an issue that does need to be raised up whether you do it through pressure at the center or however you do it uh, the, the issue is not only a, a vote bank issue actually the regional parties are forced to voice the protest voice the inner voice of the people now they would get together and protest. They are recording the, they are registering their uh, the protest for more than one month after the release of the Balachandran yeah. Prabhagran's uh, photo footage. with all the footages and then the no fire zone, the killing field in Sri Lanka. Yeah. So they would realize that what happened in Sri Lanka, yeah. apart from that uh, war and genocide, they would find that the the people that Tamil people are betrayed by the whole uh, international community. So the people of Tamil Nadu and the youngsters and the students, they have come up with all the demands. Yeah. We should do something else for the Tamil people. Okay. Now they have to, the parties of Tamil Nadu should, re, should uh, reflect their voice. Yeah. They are foes. It is oh. indivis okay. uh, so indivisible. So you're saying that they, uh, vote bank or not, they have to bring this up because it's an issue that needs to be addressed. But Francis, mm. I mean, asking that the word genocide be included in the in the resolution asking uh, that you know an international probe should be set up uh, how realistic do you think those demands are at the international level well i think that uh, talking about genocide before you've had an international investigation is really putting the cart before the horse i think you have to wait till there is that investigation and war crimes lawyers experts have to look at the issue and ascertain if that's the case I don't think, um, I mean, I think the issue of an international investigation has wide backing from every human rights group you can think of and anyone who's really studied this issue in detail. But I think with just two, two and a half days to go before the vote, to push for something as drastic as an international investigation is leaving it rather late. I mean, we know that the wording of the text can change right up till Friday afternoon, but we don't know what the view of the United States is about pushing for stronger text because they're the ones that sponsored this resolution. If perhaps the wording could be toughened up, uh, that would be a help at this point, and that perhaps is feasible, because we do understand that the reason why the, the final draft got somewhat watered down in its wording was because of Indian government pressure, and that's clearly why we're seeing the DMK reaction to that.